growing economy, rich, prosperous city full of skyscrapers and high rises. New construction, new roads abound and highways packed with all the latest cars. India. This is us at our best in the 21st century. But look a little below your eye level, below skyscrapers, out through these glass facades and you'll see another city. Today, every city in India has two cities, a prosperous one and its poor other half. And as much as we'd like to believe that it's the prosperous one that's growing, in reality, it's the poor half that's multiplying in all our cities. And the reason why the two halves can never become one is merely the lack of education. In fact, it's the lack of education that's ensuring every single day that these gaps become wider. Despite our increasing prosperity, millions of people in our country remain marginalized, with no access to newfound opportunity within the country. One of the primary reasons for this is inequity in the quality of education received by thousands of children from low-income communities. This gap in the quality of education denies those without adequate funds a proper education, leaving them illiterate and powerless to utilize these new opportunities. The state of India's education is sobering. According to India's 2001 census, only 60% of our population is literate, with 9.6 million children having never entered a classroom. Out of 100 children born every day, 15 will never attend school. Of those who attend school, 50% will drop out before class 5. And of those who stay on in school, only 10% complete class 10. 40% of India's children cannot write their names. And 40 out of every 100 children cannot count to 10. The main reason for this state of educational inequity in our country is the shortage of quality teachers. Another reason is the system of rote learning most schools adopt. That just stops critical thinking among many other important skills that a student needs to learn in a classroom. Teach for India believes that it takes the most talented people across all sectors working together to bring about a revolution in education. In pursuit of this goal, Teach for India will enlist outstanding college graduates from all disciplines and young professionals to commit two years to teach in low-income schools. These young people become lifelong leaders in the pursuit of educational excellence and equity. TFI will redefine what teaching is and what is possible for underprivileged students to achieve in the classroom. Teach for India fellows will manage their classroom as any successful leader manages their organization and will encourage their students to learn through experiential, innovative methods. I was first exposed to the Teach for India movement about 12 months ago. And what amazed me was the fact that this could be a real game-changing initiative for India. I wish something like this had come out when I was, you know, passing out of uh, school or college. And I have seen that the students who go in for these teaching programs are so well equipped by the time they finish the teaching assignments because they have developed leadership skills which they would not have been able to develop had they been in the corporate world. Why leadership? 
Because when you engage with a community that you're not used to working with before, it's a very different challenge. You have to bring out your communication skills, your convincing skills, and at the end of those two years, you might well find that your power to influence, your capability to really make a difference is substantial. And I can promise you, having spent over 25 years in the corporate sector, that that's really what you need to succeed in work and in life. Some of you, maybe even most, might consider a further education. And I think the Teach for India uh, program will allow you to learn a lot more from the further degree that you might choose to do, whether it's Masters in Communication or Business or any other. I've seen this having been part of international schools ed admission process where people who've been in organizations like Teach for India and Teach for America seem to be a lot more confident, seem to be a lot more capable and know what it's like to be successful having led organizations before or led projects before. I think it's a win-win situation for uh, corporate India, for the youngster who is committing himself to this task and indeed, and indeed most importantly, uh, for those uh, not privileged to have uh, the same access to education and to the things in life that uh, several, of, several of us have had. So I think to be able to give two years of your life after you know, your college or your school or whatever you're doing is not giving, it's absolutely gaining from that experience. I think whatever you do after that, whether you become a corporate head or you go and teach somewhere else or you never do anything connected to what you did in those two years, it would never be a waste. Young people can particularly make a difference because the world belongs to the young people and uh, by teaching in Teach for India, they are going to create the world in which they are going to live in the future. When you finish your Teach for India stint, you are ready for employment anywhere. You're ready to make a difference, whether it's in public life, it's in the corporate sector, in the social sector, or really anything you choose to do. So I would strongly urge you, consider Teach for India, consider making a difference to yourself and to society. Whatever we might say, however we might define success, I think all of us somewhere have that deep longing and deep desire to, to do something different, to be someone who, who is probably looked upon as, uh, with admiration. And, um, and I think all of us will gain that little respect, that little credibility for ourselves and for others. I don't think it's easy. I think that you need to have a lot of perseverance. It's going to be tough. I think you need to have a lot of grit, a lot of commitment. And uh, certainly you have to be someone who is capable of, of doing this. I think Teach for India is looking for, is looking for the best among the best. Children are not only the key to our future. They hold up a mirror to what the future beholds for our country. The way we shape them is the way our country will be for generations to come. So, you think this is my office? Nah, that's for later. For now, I'm gonna make this small school right here my office. And two years from now, I know I'll be walking into that office with much more than just an MBA degree.